thank you. Have a seat, everyone. Good afternoon, excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Uh, before I get started, I just want to really thank the woman of Liberia for coming out for me today. I, I realized being a first lady, before I became a first lady, I was more or less in a shell very shy, very reserved, a person, as my husband knows, who always take the back burner. I'll keep the fire burning in the back, but I'm, I was never really an outspoken person. But I realized that being a first lady and in wanting to be a leader, because being a first lady doesn't mean I just want to be at the right side of my husband. Of course, I want to help him along the way, but I don't want to just help him. I want to help myself so I can help the people of Liberia. So, my minister Pizzo did something today. And for the year and a half that I've been given speech, speeches, people have always said to me, sing this song or Say woman, oh woman. I'm always like, nah, that's not me. I'm too shy, you know? I just want to go up there, do my speech, and call it a day. But because I see how many people came out for me today, it's in thousands. And if I'm going to claim myself to be a true Liberian, representing the Liberian people, <laughs> guess what? I have to break out of that shell. I have to let, if I'm going to say, I'm you, yes. she's you. I can't just come up, which I will do eventually, and read my speech. I have to let the people feel me. So, woman, just go along with me. I may not get the words right, but go along with me, because it's, it's a dream. Yes. When I say, woman, oh woman. Woman, oh woman. <laughs> woman, oh woman. Don't sit down. Oh, fantastic. That feels good. Another song. Liber it's a Liberian song. And when I went to Ghana for the Shiro's, thank you, Shiro's, for keeping your promise. They kept singing this song. And I, I'm like, are they Ghanaian or they're Liberian? So I'm saying, if the Ghanaians can do the song so well, why can't I do the song? So please sing along with me. Yes. How does it go? It goes side by side, side by side. Side by side, side by side. No longer. The woman in the sun, the sun, the 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 Thank you, thank you. Thank you, I feel blessed today, honestly. So, building a sustainable democratic society means pushing for an inclusive society where the rights of all are respected and the opportunity for one to develop oneself evident. More so, the opportunity for women and girls to live out their true meaning, being given the most valuable skills, protection, and place to develop must be evident. Today, more than a movement, but a new way of life is being introduced in Liberia, a nation most dear to my heart. 
we cannot and will not boast of a democratic society unless there is true inclusivity. Until rape is kicked out of Liberia, maternal mortality severely reduced, equal rights for all accessible, we slam dunk and crush violence against women and champion in a more practical way of empowering of our women. With the advent of former President Sir Leaf, administration for 12 years, and now the president of another woman, Vice President Jewel Howard Taylor, the plight of women improved, and I'm grateful for that. As these distinguished Liberian women are trailblazers in the advocacy for the rights of women, not just in Liberia, but in Africa as a whole, I stand to support their worthy efforts, celebrate their great work, my feet firmly in concert with all women across Liberia, especially our, our, our strong unsung heroes. Our market and rural women whose efforts are not always being celebrated. We push forward not resting content until every woman and girl in every nook and cranny of Liberia begin to rise, acquiring the need, skill necessary to improve their lives constructively. Today, I rise to bring forth a revolutionary idea of change, the She Is You movement. Additionally, we launched the Free to Shine campaign that holds as its bedrock the eradication of the transmission of HIV AIDS from mother to child, a campaign whose time has surely come. The new Liberia we seek is possible, but its possibility depends on what we do as a nation and people. Over the last several months, I have traveled to many counties towns and villages, many of them rural, interacting with our elders, males and females, our young men and women, boys and girls, and our children. I have sat with them, had common meals with them, spoken with them, but more so listened to their stories, deep and inspiring. While I have been inspired, I have been moved to do something, hence the She Is You movement. I have, I, I have dreamt of this movement because, because, as the late Kofi Annan said, there is no, hello, as the late Kofi Annan said, there is no tool for development more effective than the empowerment of women. That is why I stand boldly declare that we must rise and live out a new meaning in Liberia and invoke that Liberia has picked up the right tool to change the nation, the empowerment of women. The She You movement may be a dream of mine, but its reaction requires collective efforts. This movement seeks to redefine the way we treat women and girls with respect, with respect to unhindered access to education, access to equal opportunities for leadership at all levels of decision-making, political, socioeconomic, and public life. Pushing for the adoption and strengthening of sound policies and enforceable legislation that would be keen on women and girls issue. Looking keenly at harmful practices and child marriages and reducing teenage pregnancies that would be high on our agenda. Making sure that HIV AIDS infected mothers give birth to healthy babies should be the concern of us all and the Free for Shine campaign will knock on your door to help us to do just that. The new Liberia we envision 
must see girls and boys gaining access to free quality education, primary and secondary, with opportunities to advance themselves to college or vocational technical education that would give them the skill to be able to find employment or become small business owners. Cheryl Sandberg said, we need women at all levels, including the top, to change the dynamic, re-change the conversation, to make sure women's voices are heard and heeded, not overlooked and ignored. The She Is You movement seeks to get women at all levels to change the dynamic and reshape the dialogue and to ensure that women are indeed heeded to and never overlooked or ignored. I solicit your help. I solicit your dedicated support. While we acknowledge that there are challenges in Liberia, we are also aware that when women are empowered, a nation can better overcome those challenges. And that's what the She's, She's You movement seeks to do. I agree with Michelle Bachelet when she says that gender equality will not reach, will not be reached if we're able to empower women. The She Is You movement seeks to do just that. In Liberia, the future can only become brighter when we intentionally strive to better the plight of women. No more can we afford to make issues of women second place in our national discourse. The She Is You movement is not a Monrovia-based movement. It is a Liberia movement. Our advocacy will give voices to women and girls from Grand Cru to River G, Maryland to Sina, Grand Jida to Nimba, Bong to Lofa, Magibi to Bapulu, Bomi to Grand Cape Mount, River Sess to Grand Bassa to Monserrata County. We intend to remind our women and girls that they can become the best and should not settle for mediocrity. We intend to remind women and girls that their God-given gift, gifts, talents, and abilities can be, har can be harnessed in order to help them to improve their lives and, and, and the lives of their family. We intend to remind women and girls that there are no professions that are off limit and that whatever they're set out to do, they can accomplish it as long as they believe in themselves and keep pushing on. Michelle Obama once remarked, no country can ever flourish if it stifles the potential of its woman and deprive itself of the contribution of half of its citizen. The She's You movement wants, Liber wants Liberia to flourish to become a better nation as President Weir continues to push for and declare today that no longer will the potential of women and girls be stifled, but allow to gain wings to fly higher as the four mothers of our Liberia, like Matilda Newport, Susanna Lewis, and the team of dedicated women who made our flags. A few other women have pushed in, in the past. We have people, women like A. Doris Banks Henrys, Angel and Angel Randall, Madame Suakoko, Ruth Gibson Caesar, Geraldine Do Sharif, and as former president, Ellen Sirleaf, Vice President Jewel Howard Taylor, Lima Bowie, our market and rural woman and others continue to do today. I want to thank our president, my husband, George Ware, along with, I know you would like that.
along with Vice President Jewel Howard, for joining this movement to show Liberians that we must stand together. We must stand together as one. I especially want to thank my sister First Lady for coming to join forces with me. And as you can see, Sara Lee and First Lady is a force to deal with. So thank you so much. Just a minute. And, and we want, we, we're standing for the cause and, and to let women know that we refuse to stay silent about anything that affects women's advancement. My special thanks and appreciation go out to all the wonderful women of this beautiful nation, Liberia, who came out in thousands to support this movement in order to bring about changes for a woman and girl and to improve Liberia as a whole. Liberia will only rise when we stand together. United we stand, divided we fall. So please keep Liberia alive, keep woman power and going, and thank you so much. God bless you all.